So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a clogged catalytic converter, I thought I'd go with the symptoms of a clogged catalytic converter, how you go about telling if it is clogged, and how you might be able to go about unclogging it. And so what are some symptoms of a clogged catalytic converter? Well, the main symptom is going to be that there's a lack of power. And this is because if the catalytic converter is all clogged up, then the engine is going to have to be working very hard to push the exhaust out the tailpipe. And this can cause issues mainly that the vehicle is not going to have the power like it once did. So if you go to step on the gas and the vehicle just doesn't have the power like it once did, the acceleration is bad, things like this, then that's a sign of a clogged catalytic converter. The fuel economy is also going to be worse since the vehicle is having to work extra hard. And another symptom is that it could be much hotter underneath the vehicle than it usually is. And this is because that exhaust is backed up. It can't escape easily. And so it's really heating up inside of the exhaust. The engine can also start to misfire or run rough when this happens, especially if the catalytic converter is really just clogged up and that exhaust can't escape out at all because air needs to come into the engine through the intake and then after it burns the fuel, it needs to escape out the tailpipe and if it can't escape, then the engine is going to start to run rough and it could misfire. Sometimes there can also be like a strong sulfur smell or like a rotten egg smell or something like this. So if there is like a strange smell coming out the tailpipe, then it could be a clogged catalytic converter. And so how do you go about telling that the catalytic converter is clogged? Well, there are several different ways you go about telling the catalytic converter is clogged. One quick way to tell that's often used is to use an infrared thermometer. And when a catalytic converter gets clogged up, it's going to be hotter before than after. So what you do is you let the vehicle warm up for like 10, 15 minutes. And then you take the temperature reading before the catalytic converter and after the catalytic converter. And if it's hotter before the catalytic converter, then it's clogged up and it's not working properly. If it's hotter after the catalytic converter, then that's the way it should be working and it's okay. These infrared thermometers are low-cost items, usually less than $20. I'll put a link down below if you need one. But the first method is to use an infrared thermometer and check the temperature. Sometimes you could also tap on the converter or try to bump on it and see if there's any rattling noise inside of there because quite often pieces of the catalytic converter can come loose and they start to rattle around inside the exhaust or inside the converter itself. And so if you could bump it or if you hear any kind of like rattling noise inside of there, then there can be an issue with it. Another method that some mechanics will use is that they'll bust loose the bolt at the flanges right before the catalytic converter. They'll loosen these up like half an inch or three quarters of an inch or so. And then they'll drive the vehicle around the block and they'll just see if there's more power. Because when they bust these loose, the exhaust will be able to escape easier instead of being forced through a clogged catalytic converter. And so if there is more power when they drive it around, then they know there's a clogged catalytic converter. And so if you do have a clogged catalytic converter, can it be unclogged? Well, there is some cleaner that you can use. There's different types of cleaner, like this CataClean is one of them. And basically what you do with this is you add it to your fuel. It's a fuel additive, so you add it into the fuel tank. And then you take the vehicle like out on the highway or something like that, and you really rev up the engine. And you try to drive it for like 5, 10 miles. And basically you try to blow out the catalytic converter and get it cleaned out and get it trying to work again. And this has various results. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If you want to try this out, I'll put a link down below to this. But this is one method that can be used to try to unclog a clogged catalytic converter. Again, the results can vary. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like I said, I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out. And so you can try to clean it out with something like that CataClean. But very likely that catalytic converter, if nothing else, is getting ready to fail. So you might get a little bit more life out of it before it completely goes bad. And so if your catalytic converter is clogged up, then it's usually best to buy a new one and have it installed. And that way you won't have any issues no more. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over the symptoms of a clogged catalytic converter, how you can tell if it is clogged up, and how you might be able to go about unclogging it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.